Hey. What's up? What you looking at? You got like a hundred cameras, man. I want to get a camera that can do it all, but last a long time. I don't need so many, but just like a good one. Yeah, I got different cameras for different reasons. No one camera is perfect. Dude, what have you heard about the 1DX Mark III? That's a beast of a camera and it does it all, but what about that one? Don't waste your money on that. It's great, but way overpriced for what it can do. But it says here that it does raw video. So does my Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Uh. What? But I don't need raw video. Why? I heard all these new cameras are coming out with raw video. Nikon Z6 has it with external recording. The Canon 1DX Mark III has it, and even your camera has it. So? So isn't that like the next thing that every camera will have? A lot more matters than raw video. What is raw video anyway? Okay, it's like, it's like being able to shoot video now, right? You shoot video now, and then in post, you can tweak the colors, change your ISO and white balance settings. That's cool! But you don't need it. Just get it right before your film and you'll save enough time. Just learn your craft instead of wasting money on the hard drives you need for 4K in RAW. So if I'm buying a camera now, what's a good all-around camera? Depends on what you want it for. The best pictures and videos that will last a while. The one go-to camera. The perfect camera. The perfect camera doesn't exist. But let's talk about what'll probably work for you. We'll all write that. So if you want it to last years, you probably want the latest and greatest. Since you're saving up for a camera, you'll probably have time to build up for that savings before you buy it. Yeah. What I have in mind is not yet announced, but I think what would work for you is a Canon 5D Mark V. Uh, why that camera? Now I'm only speculating here, but what I do know about Canon is that they usually use the 1DX series as inspiration for the next 5D camera. And then they just tone it down a bit. Why should I get a Canon? and not a Sony or Panasonic. Okay, you're just starting out, that's why. Canon's menus are a bunch easier to use than Sony's, and Panasonic's are not good for their photography or color science, in my opinion. To me, color science is subjective, but few people have complaints about Canon. Plus, its autofocus is awesome. So right out of the box, you'll get great photos and great videos that are mostly in focus. Well, what do you know about the 5D Mark V? Nothing. But if I were to speculate, it'll probably have anywhere between 30 to 40 megapixels, probably 40, a new processor, one SD UHS-2 card slot, and one CF Express card slot, and a flip screen, dual pixel autofocus with eye detect, better low light performance with up to 40,000 ISO, expandable to 102,400. Um, oh, and 4K at 30 frames per second, full frame with no crop, and they'll probably throw in 120 frames per second at 1080p. Oh, and C-Log, all that stuff I think it'll have but I wish it had, but probably won't, but I wish it had the ability to mount EF and RF lenses. Then when you mount RF lenses, it'll just act like a mirrorless camera and give you an EVF as well. So you don't have to worry about looking at the back of the screen when you take photos or video. Wow, that's a lot. But um, will it have raw video? It won't be about video resolution or frame rates anymore. It's going to be about dynamic range and raw video, but this camera won't have it. Maybe external, but definitely not in body. External? Yeah, like when you connect an HDMI cable to the camera, you can use an external recorder. If the recorder allows, you can record high quality footage from the camera right on the recorder. So maybe like Nikon, you'll be able to record raw footage out of the HDMI cable from the new 5D. But somehow I doubt that. Last time Canon released the 5D, they only permitted 1080p of the 5D Mark IV even though you could record 4K internal. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, so I'll wait for the 5D. How much do you think it'll cost? Cost? Hmm, about 3,500? Uh, no, I'm on a budget, remember? Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. But you have time, time to save up. Is there anything else I could get, man? So there's the EOS R, which is great and has a lot of nice features. Yeah, but isn't that camera like Two years old? Yeah, but you said you're on a budget. Well, I've heard of a rumored EOS R5. What will that have? To be honest, I don't believe the rumors, but- But what? Okay, well first, 
Usually the EOS R family of cameras is less expensive than the 5D series. So that might help you budget wise. Well, all right then. And the camera is rumored to have 8K at 30 frames per second, 4K at 120 frames per second, dual card slots, and a battery that will make it last longer than previous DSLRs from Canon. Wow, I want that camera. But that all sounds like big fat bloated lies. Why? Canon is known for not including features in their cameras. That type of drastic jump ahead doesn't make any sense for them. It just doesn't seem realistic. But what if it's true? Well then, you better save your money and wait a little bit. Well, all right then. Cool. But I know of a camera that I could use now. What's that? Your Blackmagic Pocket 4K. It does raw video and takes photos, right? Well, it can, but... So it's the perfect camera. Uh, no. It's mostly meant for video and it requires a lot of attention. But it can take raw videos and raw photos, right? Well, yeah. Great. How do you do that? No, look, look, I don't have time for this. I gotta go. But you can check out my video at the end of this video if you want to know how that works for you but you're not going to use my camera. Well, all right then. All right, fine, whatever. Y you know what, I'll see you later. See ya. I'll save up. But until then, he left his Samsung camera. <laughs> Here I go. Well, all right then. Well, if you enjoyed that video and that was fun, you can definitely check out the other videos I've got on my channel. And of course, Please subscribe, please enjoy the rest of my videos. I'm hoping to grow my channel as everyone else did, is and also grow with you guys and have a conversation about everything I've worked out. So leave a comment, like, share, and as always, you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus and I'm out. See you guys later.